Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Leslie Weidenbenner. I'm here at the Indiana State House with Senator Carlin Yoder. He's a Republican from Middlebury. Senator, thank you for joining us. No, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. You have been an author of legislation to try to tighten the controls over pseudoephedrine, which is a key ingredient in both meth and a lot of cold medicines. Correct. Tell us what your goals are. Well, my goals, uh, first and foremost, are to try and prevent the meth production that's taking place in Indiana. Indiana has a, uh, has a severe problem in regard to meth. And so what my bill does is try to further restrict uh, the ability for those uh, individuals who are, who are purchasing it for nefarious means to, uh, to really prevent them from doing that. And uh, I am adamantly opposed to moving ephedrine, pseudoephedrine to prescription only. And so this is my attempt to find that middle ground without punishing the innocent people who need the product. You are also an author of the Constitutional Right to Hunt and Fish. This bill gets a lot of attention each time. Sure. Um, and tell us where that is and, and why you think it's important. Well, you know, I'm an avid outdoorsman. I, I'm a hunter, I'm a fisherman, and, and I just like being outdoors. And, and I think uh, most people in Indiana are, are like that. They, they like our outdoors. They want to protect our rights to be able to go to the outdoors and do some of the activities that uh, we enjoy participating in. And we've seen some other states where legislat legislatures have uh, gotten a little aggressive on, on allowing uh, certain organizations to kind of infiltrate uh, their abilities to do some of these things. And so this is our step here in Indiana to say, wait a minute. Uh, we as Hoosiers, we like our ability to hunt, we like our ability to fish, we want to protect our ability to farm, and this will simply give Hoosiers the right to vote to put that into our Constitution, and, and I uh, fully anticipate that happening next year. Very good. So the um, you've been very involved in the DCS issues, that's mm -hmm. the Department of Child Services. Uh, tell us about what you're all trying to do this session to protect children. Sure. Well, I'm very passionate about this issue. In my uh, past life, I worked at a, a children's home and worked with uh, kids who were uh, uh, in, in need of different things. And, and so uh, DCS has had a rough few years, uh, frankly speaking. And, and so our attempt is to make sure that all of our kids are protected, make sure the funding is there so that we can uh, put people on the ground, we can investigate those cases that need investigated, and make sure our kids are safe. And so we have a number of bills this year to try and address that, and it's been a bipartisan thing and, and a lot of support there. And I think we're going to get a lot done, and I think our kids are going to be safer because of it. Do you think DCS has made some strides on its own? They really have. Uh, after we started putting a little pressure on them last year, John Ryan, who's the interim director uh, right now, has done an outstanding job. He's he's really reached out to different organizations, to different uh, homes, different all the players, and and tried to find out what it is that he needs to do to help. And so I'm really encouraged by what they've done recently and the steps that they're taking. You're going to be the sponsor of the House bill to expand the voucher program. Yes. Tell us why you support uh, public money for private school vouchers. I am all about school choice for parents. I think parents need to have the ability to decide for themselves what is best for their children. And any time I can find a way to do that, I'm going to a, I'm going to always fight for the side of children and their parents. Um, this is not an attack on public schools at all. In fact, we have some great public schools, especially in my area. But uh, competition is always a good thing. And any time we can provide a little competition, the bar gets raised a little bit, and that's why I support it. Ultimately, would you like to see the voucher program open to all students? I, I would. I mean, it, it gets back to fairness from my perspective. Every parent should have the right to decide where their ch kids go to school. They're paying taxes. They want to be involved in their kids' lives. And what better way than to allow them to choose themselves where their kids go? Senator Yoder, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. I'm Leslie Weidenbender for the StateHouseFile.com and Comcast Newsmakers. Thank you so much for joining us.